What's up, everybody? It's your boy here to give you guys the review for Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. All right, go ahead and just jump into this shit. So, it picks up with the fight between Betty Idol and Tammy. And, you know, I'm going to say this. Betty got some hands. You know, I, I'm going to call Betty a uh, candy man. Because, again, I'm saying with that motherfucking hat she is wearing, she reminds me so, like, she looks like she should have been in Christina Aguilera's candy man. So, whenever I say candy man, I'm talking about her. Um, but, you know, when the shit went all like happened and they pulled Tammy away. You saw her run and rush and try to get some licks and shit in. So I'm just like, I right. in in the moment she was she was ready, ready to go. But even in seeing that, you also saw like, when everything was all died down, she was so concerned about she pulled out my hair. She pulled out my hair. Well what the fuck happens when you scrap with somebody? I mean, you know, casualties of war, baby. Uh anyway Dime reaches out to Tierra, and Tierra started to make the connection of, is that the reason why that bitch came to my motherfucking job? Betty, yeah, is that why you... <laughs> I'm like, okay. Piecing, to get, piecing together. Now, Dime, Dime's out Cardi just like, hey, she invited me. <laughs> He's just like, I'm gonna sit here and make sure that the slate clean. I'm kind of curious if this is gonna pick up. I don't know, like, is... Tierra ever going to confront Cardi? I don't know. Um, Dime asked her if she's still fucking scrappy. She says, she, I'm sorry, scrap. She says yes, and Tierra was like, when it was good, we were good until all of them, all the family got under one roof and it was just so much shit going on. Me and the moms fell out and, you know, while he was in prison, I held him down. All the money I was making, I put the money on his books. I was using, I was putting the money on my, on my phone so I can take all the phone calls so he wouldn't lose precious moments and whatnot. And I'm just like, okay, I, I see what she mean by hell the motherfucker down. But then she hit it, hit, she reiterated. <clears throat> and I mean, I'm gonna have to somewhat kind of clarify my stance from last week. Now, um, when she mentioned that, you know, she, he won't see his kid. I want everybody to understand that <clears throat> I'm not against her saying that you won't see your my you won't see our child with her. Meaning that if you want to see our child, you need to come to me to see it. But my child will be nowhere near her. I got that. I'm cool with that. But the whole fact of if he don't claim you, if he don't sit here and, you know, nicks her that he can't see the kid, I'm not for that shit. And she even said if he doesn't fix it. He gonna see his son, and I, I hope everybody understood. Like that's what I was getting at, and and I was I hit the shit right on the head. It had nothing to do with I don't want my son around this crazy ass heifer. I just don't want her in the fucking picture. And if she's in his life, my son won't be it. It's that bullshit. Scrap said he got a whole lot of shit going on. Got caught with the yeah, yo, this, that, a third. Got women problem, whatnot. He gonna go to the only person he could talk to. Guess who? It's Stevie J, and it's gonna pick up from there. Okay, so Stevie and um, Scrap. Stevie says that he's back because he could do music and shoot whatever movies he want to shoot from um, Atlanta. So he's back. Josh is not happy. We're probably not going to see, uh, you know, Hasselina. Um This episode, we're probably going to see her probably episode four. Oh, shit, I got the fucking hip. Here goes four or five. Um. <clears throat> Now, Scrap said he's the plea deal, so that shit's probably going to come up later. And, you know, Stevie is telling him to pick, and he says that he can't decide. And, you know, my whole thing is this, on some real shit, if you can't decide which one you want and you love both women dearly, the best thing that he could do for either one, either one of them is to let both of their asses go and keep it 1,000 when just like, I love both of you. I don't know who I want to be with, so rather than string you along... I'm going to let both of you go. And hopefully the distance will sit here and tell me who I need to be with. <clears throat> That's just some mature man shit right there, you know. But it is what it is. Um, Tammy and Walker, long story short, she rehashed shit. Walker ain't trying to hear it. I wasn't trying to hear. She has a magazine shoot. She wants him there, but he has an event that he is supposed to be doing. But it seems that the only reason she wants him there is because D. Smith is also invited. And she wants those two to talk. She wants D. Smith to kind of get a feel for him. When it's just those two. And my whole thing is, why is it really that fucking important? Why does someone's opinion 
of your husband and your marriage even fucking matter. But again, <clears throat> this is what happens. You know what? I'm going to be nice. I'll be nice this review. So now we got Scrappy and Candyman. First and foremost, like, <clears throat> I don't understand people on these reality shows because the shit has already been taped right. So these confessionals are them watching this shit back and then having their commentary. And more often than not, <clears throat> they already had what they were going to say in mind. So she says, Bambi, the horsey. Have you not seen Bambi scrap? Do you not know Bambi is about that damn life? So you said, wait till the reunion is all I'm going to say. If shit gets rehashed, you know, and, you know, he tells her, it's like, that's what you fucked up because you brought her man into it. Now, it's one of those where I'm pretty sure that has she eloquently, you know, said what she needed to say? Then, you know, I mean, granted, there still might have been some feelings there, but it's all about being able to articulate and the tone in which you deliver information or whatever it is you got to say, and that's where the altercation came. And, you know, she brings up saying, you can't flirt with me this, that, and third, why you still got friends for her because you posted the snap videos and you took it down, and he's just like, look, I'm not for hurting nobody's feelings, and I still love her. I, it's, like, it's one of where you love somebody, you never stop loving them. So the fact it, that it hurt her and I still love her out of respect for her, I took it down. I'm like, you know what, Scrap? Mother, I, I can fucks with you because of that. But you can tell that she won't diddly. So, mm-hmm. Okay, so it's uh, Tammy's uh, cover party. So you have, uh, if I can recall everybody, I think it's Jessica Dime, Mimi, uh, Chris, Jessica, Dime, Mimi, Chris, and I think Arian. There might have been a fifth person. There. I don't. I don't fucking remember. But you know, their whole thing is, you know, I hope there's not gonna be no drama. You know, Chris, like, you know, not like it was at my party. And of course, Jessica and Mimi. Whole thing is, I'm hoping Jessica Dime is it bringing, you know, the same bullshit that she brought. Now that we're trying to move past the bullshit, and Jessica Dime <clears throat> expresses. Um, this is what happened, you know, explain who Tommy was and who, uh, Tierra was. And, you know, Mimi is like, if I even lay eyes on these alley cats, it is going to be trouble. Uh, what you gonna do? <laughs> you know, like, I'm trying to figure out, like, what you gonna do? Like, cause last time that I checked... I get my fucking reunions mixed up. It wasn't last reunion because this was season five. So I think it was the season three reunion. I forget what season. It's five or six. Two fucking reunions ago when you, you walking up the stairs or down the how fuck walking down the stairs, Hostelene walking up the stairs, you call the fade. You ain't ready. I'm trying to figure out what trouble it's gonna be, but okay, okay, BB. Alright, so Tammy tells her tale to uh, you know, her mom, her mother-in-law. Damn, this shit came back on quick, fast, in a hurry. Hold on, pause that. Uh, she then told her, um, tale to her mother, her, um, mother-in-law, um, Bambi. I'm trying to figure out who the fuck else was there. And Mimi had walked over and one of her friends. She's telling the story and she, you know, mentions Betty Idol. And Bambi's like, who? Who the fuck we talking about? She was like, I knew there was an issue with a friend. I didn't know it was this individual right here. And, you know, now uh, Bambi feeling some kind of way. And, of course, y'all, and, you know, she was like, well, I'm glad D. Smith did not, because D. Smith didn't come. Tammy feels some kind of way. And Bambi's like, well, I'm glad she didn't bring her ass up in here because it would have been a problem. So, <clears throat> yeah. All right. And. Mimi and uh, Stevie are together, and she brings up the fact that she has a girlfriend. That's where it left off, and that's where it's about to pick up. Okay, so <clears throat> Mimi is saying that she doesn't want uh, Eva to be introduced to uh, Chris just yet because she wants to make sure that the next person <clears throat> or anyone else that gets introduced to Eva the relationship is going to stand the uh, test of time and God, these fucking hiccups. And um, <clears throat> she doesn't just get attached to anyone. The only thing that throws this off is the fact that you're flying this on camera. And I'm even hearing through, you know, the rumor mirror. They're not even together anymore. And of course, people talk and I've even talked about it so much on the topics. 
she probably Eva probably knows about it because of course you know people watch the show they probably told you know the teachers probably talked about it while they was in school the kids probably teased about it she probably know about it Scrappy and Bambi all I'm gonna say is you know Scrappy whole thing is you can't want to have a relationship with me whatever it is and you fucking around with somebody or you working with somebody that then came at my best friend <clears throat> and it's one of those where I do understand it. I understand the loyalty thing, this, that, and the third. <clears throat> but at the same exact time, I do realize that business is business. And it's one of those where even though I'm low with motherfuckers, if a motherfucker fuck with me, they gonna know off rip. <clears throat> if I'm working with this motherfucker, it's only for the paper and that's it. And that whole dog situation, that shit was funny as shit. He went from being a thug to Uchi <laughs> I was dumb, but that shit was funny as hell. <clears throat> Alright, so Tammy and D Smith, uh, they meet up. Tammy, uh, not Tammy, D Smith says that the event that uh, Tammy was throwing, like, that's not her crowd. That's why she didn't go. I will say this if you had her number, probably would have been best to just hit her. I was just like, you know what? I, I don't want to go. I can't do this. Especially if you promise her that you would be there. Now, if it's a I might or I might think about it, then I don't see the wrong in that. Now, D. Smith says some shit that is very, very stupid. Just saying, if both of y'all um, are married, then, of course, you share the same views, pillow talk, this, that, and the third. And if not, then why the fuck are y'all married? That's not right. I mean, <clears throat> I know many people that are married, and there's a lot of shit, whether you're political or whatever. They share totally different views, and you can't sit here and push the views of one onto the other. That's not right. That's some idiotic, dumbass shit. I mean, let's, let's just be, you, you know, real about it. So... Shit, this is sorry. <laughs> um, <clears throat> and then you all uh, had uh, Tam say because you know we were trying to work together, and D Smith said it straight, just like, No, you were trying to work with me. She's like, Well, actually, I was trying to give you an opportunity, and it's one of those where it's just like, She caught you, she caught you in your bullshit, so now I'm trying to give you an opportunity. It's just like, <clears throat> You could just be like, You know what, you are right, I was trying to work with you, you know what I'm saying? Just like, be real about this, shit, you feel me. And, um, you know, they start going back and forth, this and a third. And I'm glad it didn't result to a fight because I I can tell you right now, social media would have been lit. And it, this shit just would have went to a place I don't think it really needed to go to. But I will say, in amongst all the shit and fix your crooked ass weird, <clears throat> Tammy had the best shady clap back. And that's when she grabbed her breast and did this and walked out. And if y'all don't know why that was shady and and why that was probably like the read, you know, in the midst of all the fuck they were saying, then y'all have not been paying attention. Uh, Scrappy meets with Candyman. You know, he wants her to apologize to, um, not Bambi, Tammy. She don't want to do it. His whole thing is, you know, it's the whole loyalty aspect. And, I, and even with what I said earlier, I forgot to factor in the fact that, you know, hands were thrown but that is something that had absolutely nothing to do with him but again the whole loyalty thing being from the hood the ghetto all that shit <clears throat> it all meshed together and when she made it abundantly clear that she will not apologize and she was so foul like foul about it he was like you know what we can't work together i know you don't give a fuck but we can't work together and when he said it, she was like and that's why you ain't got hit and that's the shit that i don't like it's just with motherfuckers especially Opposite sex or whatnot, or even if it's, it really doesn't matter. When motherfuckers get into a fucking argument, it's always some shit where it's just like, oh, you ain't shit, you ain't this, that's why your dick little, like shit like that. And it's just like, really? And if that was meant to embarrass him or meant to be a read, I mean, I'm gonna just keep it 1000. First time me hearing about Candyman was this motherfucking show, but I been knew about Scrappy. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> Before I finish this with you, one, I did just say earlier that um, <clears throat> Joselina Hernandez is probably going to be on episode, what, uh, what, is this, this is not two, one, two, four or five, she's going to be on next week, I fucking called it, but <clears throat> I'm laughing my ass off right now, especially. <laughs> at Cardi like she's gonna give me so much comedic relief next week oh uh, <clears throat> I can't even wait all right so scrap Tierra and uh Tommy they all meet up you know and <clears throat> you know scrap goes hug Tierra Tierra's just like nah bruh 
Nah, we ain't having that. We, 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 we not here right now. And he brings up that he's going to be facing a uh, possible jail time and that, uh, you know, he kind of needs the uh, girls, you know, to kind of, you know, be there for him. This and third. Right now is not the time. And, you know, Tierra was just like, hold the fuck. Because he was just like, mm, you know, I can't sit here and pick and choose. And Tierra's like, whoa. And then that's when she sits here and she spills it all. Just like, because you were supposed mm, to, um, you know, tell her that, you know, he was breaking it off with her. And now, oh, shit, hold on. Hopefully that didn't cut off. Cause I said, I've been using my phone all motherfucking day, so if that cut off, might be. But, um, <clears throat> you know, Tommy is like, for real, though? So that's that's what the fuck we on and shit? And, you know, he and, and uh, what? Tierra's just like, are you in love with her? And he admits he's not in love. At that point, <clears throat> I was expecting Tommy to get up and walk away. He just, he literally just told you he is not in love with you. Doesn't mean he doesn't love you, but he's not in love with you. So he's not invested in you, but we've already heard him say she ain't good. The only thing she good for is smashing. He's already admitted that you feel me. So, but <clears throat> Tierra is like, you know, this and the third, you got people stalking my job. And then time is like, what job bitch now? <clears throat> But to put y'all up on some game, the way you make a motherfucker irrelevant, exactly, as I've said many times before, you pay them no fucking mind. Because if you're talking to Scrap, even though you, now mind you, fuck subliminal, you are intentionally talking about her as if she is not there. Granted, it's one of those which is like, she's trying to say, do you not see that by your actions, these things are happening more or less to me, how the fuck I'm supposed to feel. And when she said that, and Tommy jumped in, she didn't even have to acknowledge her. She could have just continued to keep talking to Scrap. And I guarantee you that would, because it seemed as if Tommy got more bothered, not Tommy, Tierra got more bothered than uh, Tommy. And Tommy whole thing is, again, you can see the crazy. Yo, she was like, move, bitch. Like, it was like, you saw you saw the crazy. I'm just like, yep, she got a demon inside of her. But it was one of those where I'm kind of looking at Tierra. She's like, boo, boo, boo. She not already get your ass. Like, don't, don't do that. Don't do that. But it is what it is. It ain't what it ain't. That was my review. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and share. I will see you guys on the next video. I will see you guys here next week for the same old shit. All right, y'all. Peace.